In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create two dependent drop-down lists here in Google Sheets. So what I'm trying to do is to create a drop-down list for our menu, which will be tied to our drop-down list here in the items. So we have our reference list right here. We have our cookies, cakes, sandwiches, and drinks for the menu. And for the items would be this ones right here. And to do that, we will be using named ranges and the indirect formula. Let's get started. So to start, we are going to name our ranges. So the first one would be to name this range right here. Select your range, right click on them, go to view more cell actions and on the right, you'll see define named range. If you click on it, you have your named ranges panel right here. So we already have selected a range. Now we just have to rename it. Let's rename this cookies as for our menu right here. So once you've done that, just click on done. If you select this, it will show this range right here. Let's go to the next one. So let's select our next range, add a range, rename it. Let's rename this cake. Click on done or press enter and there you have it. Moving on to the next one, just keep going until you've finished everything on your list. So this will be sandwiches, press enter and that's done. And the last one would be our drinks. So add a range, rename it, drinks, and there we go. So if we select each named range, we will see which range is highlighted to make sure everything is correct. Now that we have named our ranges, let's go to our order form and select our first drop down list. Let's go to data, select data validation right here and add a rule here we're going to add a drop down as our criteria and we're going to select drop down from a range select data range let's go to our reference list tab and select our range click on ok and if you go back to your order form under menu we have cookies cake sandwiches and drinks click on done now we go back to our reference list and now that we've named our ranges, if we try and put on cake right here, if I use the indirect formula and select this range, it will give me that range. So that named range for cake is the same thing right here. So we have vanilla and vanilla until black forest. So that's what the indirect formula does. And that's what we're going to be using to link our second drop down list to our first drop down list. So we're going to use the indirect formula. Start with your equal sign, indirect, and we're going to choose this drop down list right here. If we press enter, you have there hot cocoa, coffee, green tea, everything from our drinks, which is selected right here. So if we select cookies, go back to reference list, we have the different type of cookies. So if we go back and create our second drop down list, we're just going to go to data, data validation, add a new rule, go to drop down from a range, select that range, which will be this one right here and click on OK. If we go back to our order form and go to, let's say cake under our items, our different type of cakes will be available. So if we select chocolate mousse, we have cake and chocolate mousse. If we go to sandwiches and click on this second drop down, we will have the different type of sandwiches. And there we have it. We have created two dependent drop down lists in Google Sheets using named ranges and the indirect formula. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.